team is very different, you know. Uh, of course, we want to win, but that's we, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking to play to our standard, and uh, we know what to do. As a, I mean, score points, you know, like I said, catch the ball, uh, come out, make plays, make tackles. So we, we just play to our standard. We don't play to a scoreboard or play to an opponent, you know, or, or even look at the record. You know, we just come out and play and try to be the best Berlin team we can possibly be and that we know we can be. Sorry, I came in a bit late. Uh, on that tightrope run, it, it, I haven't seen you do many of those here. Is that one of your specialties? <laughs> no, it was just a, a regular run to me, you know. Um, my line did a great job letting me get to the edge, and mm -hmm. uh, they left it up to me to just finish. Uh, it was a nice little run, you know, way to work on my tightrope skills, but, you know, it was fine. It was just a regular run to me. Did you realize how close you were to the edge? Mm -hmm. I, I did feel like I was very close, mm -hmm. but I knew I wasn't close enough to step out of bounds, right. you know, so when they started reviewing it, yeah. you know, I, I, that's when I knew, I was like, no, nah, I'm good for sure. I was telling coach I'm good. He was like, did you score? I'm like, yeah, coach, I'm good, <laughs> you did, know. So did you stop and look up at the scoreboard or you just had it? Oh, uh, no, I just had it, you know, yeah. but when, when they reviewed it and then yeah. I looked up at the scoreboard yeah. and watched it, oh, that's when I knew for sure. Chloe McDonald's another local guy, true freshman. Yes. Uh, got a number of reps today. You know, what did you think of his performance? Uh, great performance. You know, that young dude, he's going to be very special. Uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. Isaiah Jacobs and Penny Boone, you know, after I leave, um, these dudes are taking a, a, a great step forward, you know, every week uh, from the Howard week to this week. You know, just seeing Kobe, you know, form into a better running back every week. That just excites me. You know, I just can't, like I said, I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. What do you prefer, those nitty-gritty up-close uh, and like red zone uh, touchdowns or those breakaway uh, scores? Uh, I'd rather go the breakaway scores. You know, of course, the up-close ones are easy, but, you know, I, I'd rather, you know, show off my speed, you know, show I can, you know, take it the distance. Um, <laughs> yeah. You've had the same number the whole, what's it, this is the fifth year, right? Yeah. How'd you end up with number eight? Well, it was, it was a crazy story. Uh, I had 33 coming up here my freshman year. We had a linebacker, Trey Watson. Mm -hmm. um, we both played special teams. And fortunately, he wanted 33, you know? Yeah. He wanted 33, so Coach came to me. He was like, uh, I got bad news. You got to change your number. Yeah. And I was like, all right. He said, you want number eight? I said, bad news. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said, bad news. Yeah. I said, coach, yeah, I want number eight. Yeah. And, you know, I got it, and I was just excited ever since. You know, they call me eight ball. I love it. Eight ball? Uh, yeah. So what do you think of that huge scoreboard that's coming? Are you guys excited? Does it yeah. mean anything to you? Yeah, I was, I was very excited. I thought it was going to be on today. Um, they gave us a little, you know, yeah, preview some, of yeah. it. Somebody went to Best Buy again and bought the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Yes, but, you know, hopefully next week it'll be ready to go for uh, the Iowa game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I think that scoreboard will actually bring out more fans. Yeah. And I know you've shown your ability to catch passes. Yeah. Um, Pass, but how cool is it when you look and see a bunch of receivers, tight ends, running backs all getting involved in the pass game? Man, uh, that, that's exciting for me. I think today we had like 12 different receivers touch the ball. You know, I think I haven't seen that since practice. You know, so but you know when we go out to the practice field and take it to the game, you know things transfer over. You know these go, these guys go hard in practice, uh, making routine catches, uh, tossing uh, pitch catches all the time so when they go out on Saturdays and do it it's not surprising to me you know I think they deserve it and uh, I can't wait to see uh, what we do now or next. What are you most looking forward to for Big Ten play for the rest of the season? I'm um, most looking forward to just how we we bounce back from our mistakes you know how like I said we don't play to a team we don't play to a school board you know we play to a standard so I just want to see how can we be a better Merlin every week. This week it's Iowa that has the short straw and has to travel across the country yes. for Friday night game. What's your message to fans coming out for a nationally televised game uh, to show up? In the I would just say just come out and support. You know, it'll be a great game. Um, 
I wouldn't say it's anything uh, like a rivalry or anything, but you know, just to have fans come out and support that, we will feed off that, you know, very much. And we also appreciate it, you know, uh, seeing our fans out there uh, week to week. You know, that that gives us fire, you know, ready to go. And we we like to perform for them. So, you know, with them coming out, that I, I feel like that will make us play better, and you know, we'll drive off that. Good.